Dragon Song Divine 3. Jacindral's song. You are my child, and my child you are, Taylor said to Jacindral. And while you can always call my name, we want you to stay here in Dragon's Song Divine and build this society for your family. You are a daily Jacindral, and you are also a swift, and as a swift, take this snow globe and guard it with your life. I have spent years in the design and years in prayer and channeling anima into its fibre. I've put a piece of my own soul into it. Studies. Patience. Religion. Duty. To perform tradition. It is a whole point of this one. So you must follow the rules. And in the convent you form. On the outskirts of Cragley. Keep it traditional, always. It's those values of continuity and stability and permanence, said Taylor. I can never really leave Cragley, can I, Mother? The snow globes are built to last. They combat MacDaramond and his sense of humour, replied Taylor. Men always think they rule the world, and they often take too much for granted. Unless we fight back, we learned that the hard way. We always thought we had to be the perfect wife, silent and submissive, and we would gain respect. We did everything right, but it was never enough. They would abuse and misuse us and always tell us exactly what to do. We had to take a stand, Jacindra. Women everywhere were agreed. So these snow globes of mine function in these fantasy worlds to keep the powers that be in check. It's crucial that the Order survive. Do you have a name for your new Order? Asked the dragon, ran Lydia Corvanex, who had been sitting silently playing with his tail. It's not yet fully decided, said Taylor. We're still working on it, said Jacindral. But we will give the perfect name. Malzact has a nature indeed comment I would make on their behalf. A male's act as nature intended the comment I would act, make on their behalf, said Ren Lydia. But don't mind me, I'm just humble. Funny, said Taylor. She looked at Jacindra. Ready to go? And the day singing and adventures at the Ice Cast, Queen's Castle finished, they signaled to the dragon it was time to return home to Cragley. Serving in the tavern that night, Cinderella thought on her future. In the end, she would indeed commit to a family's vision for her life. Taylor had nagged her a little to be the head of the clerical order of the snow globe. It reminded her that she was a free person and could, in the end, chase her own destiny. But Jacindra just didn't really mind in the end, anyway. The convent was for nuns, but it was not strictly about a lifetime of abstinence, necessarily. The Order had to maintain a basic way of life in the religious Bible that her and her mother had been composing for decades now. It was qu quotes from various traditions in monotheism and wisdom communities. And the basic idea they had gradually been forming about how this order of life worked. For Taylor, it was something she'd done a few times before in previous fantasy worlds. But for Jacindra, this was her song. This was Jacindra's song. This was going to be her eternal passion. And as Dragon Song Divine did grow at times also, with prayers of the overseer of Calphora, so the ruby of the seraphim being answered, Jacindra knew that while her order had a task and duty to watch over the snow globe, it would be more than that. It would be a religion, and she would be its champion. That much was now becoming clear to the mind and heart of Jacindra daily swift. <laughs>